Hey guys, today I'm going to be looking at the new Halloween update in Adopt Me. So first there's the new Cricket's Tile Hop minigame, and there's collecting the purple pumpkins around the map. There's 25 pumpkins to collect, and of course the new pets that are the Franken Feline and the Indian Flying Fox. So first I'm going to be showing you all the locations of the purple pumpkins around the map. So the first 20 of them are all around the map, and the last 5 of them are in the tile hop minigame. So just jump inside of all the blue spinny tornadoes that you see in the minigame for a chance to get one of the pumpkins. And you just have to keep doing that until you get the last 5 pumpkins. And also to get the pumpkins around the map, you will need a fly pet or a propeller. So for the first one, go to the neighborhood and then on top of this sign is the first pumpkin. Now right next to the exit of the neighborhood, this thing that looks like a little castle has the second pumpkin. And then the third pumpkin is on top of this red pine tree near the exit of the neighborhood. And now from that big billboard, go right and up and in between these two red pine trees is the fourth pumpkin. So for the fifth pumpkin, fly back down near the exit of the neighborhood and here it is on this bench. So for the next pumpkin, you're gonna have to fly all the way out to the beach party area and go all the way towards the shop that's shaped like a pirate ship but don't go inside because on top of the ship is the sixth pumpkin and now for the next pumpkin i teleported to the gifts display and then i flew out all the way to the car shop and on top of it inside of the car is the seventh pumpkin now for the next one you need to fly all the way out to the beach party area again but this time fly even farther to the lighthouse to find the eighth pumpkin and look how beautiful it looks from up here so for the ninth pumpkin fly all the way out towards the sky castle and it will be right underneath this part of the sky castle on this wooden part so for the 10th pumpkin it's just right next to the sky castle on the hot air balloon now the 11th pumpkin is on the tip top of the sky castle right here so now this is me attempting to land near the entrance of the sky castle <laughs> So now go inside of the sky castle because there's quite a few pumpkins in here. So when you go in, the 12th pumpkin is right here on your left. And then on your right is another pumpkin, so this is the 13th pumpkin. Okay, so now for the 14th pumpkin, I'm going to fly my uni up here to my right on this red building is the 14th pumpkin. And then the 15th pumpkin is right here on this little part of the roof. Now go in the middle of the sky castle area and look up to this area with a minecart and a minecart track. We'll have two more pumpkins up here. Now go back down and in the witch's pot is another pumpkin. So those were the 16th, 17th, and 18th pumpkins. For the 19th pumpkin, fly all the way to the portal and then go right and up by this window to find it. Now for the last and 20th pumpkin go behind the portal and it should be right there so these are all the locations around the map that we know right now and the last five you will have to find in the mini games through the blue tornadoes so i hope that helped you guys find all the locations for the pumpkins and now i'm going to be looking at all the other stuff that this update has added so i really like how they decorated it outside of this building here and i hope that they add these pumpkins and the tombstones and fences as decorations in build mode because I think that would be really cool if they did. So now let's go inside and see everything that they have and it looks really good, perfect for Halloween. And here is the vending machine where you can spend your purple pumpkins. So you can also use your pumpkins to buy the little Franken feline pet and some of the pet wares in case you wanna save your candy for the other more expensive pets but of course there's also the pumpkin friend which is only in the vending machine i think but i'm going to be saving my pumpkins for that because i really like how this one looks and now here is the pet wares the first one is just a little fang necklace for only 550 candies and then a web cape for 2k candies the sorcerer's wand for 2k candies again and then the last is the sorcerer's hat for 4.4k candy i really like the hat it's my favorite one here is the new tile hat minigame so personally i think it's a lot easier and better to play this in a public server because you're supposed to work together 
to complete this mini game, I only completed it when I was in a public server working together because it's so much easier to work together and do it. And also, if you still don't have the all of the purple pumpkins, remember to go in the blue tornadoes to get them. And I do think they made the mini game a little bit harder this year because there is more levels. You have to use the blue tornadoes to spring up to the next level of tiles. So they did make it a bit harder, but I still like the mini game. So comment down below what you think about the mini game so far. And when I was playing in a public server with a lot of other people and I completed the mini game, I got 3k candies each time. So you do get a lot more candies if you complete it. So that's why I think it's a lot better to play this mini game in a public server. So now here's the rest of the footage of me completing this mini game. So of course if you want to, you can always play in a private server. You just get a bit less candies as you can see here. So now here are the rest of the pet wears. This little monster friend hat is really cute and the slime shades are pretty cute too. Then there's the witch nose and the gothic horns. And that's all the cute Halloween pet wears. So we have these two cute Halloween pets. And after the giveaway that I will announce on October 11th, I'll be doing another giveaway for a neon Franken feline. The Indian flying fox is a lot harder to get. So I don't know if I'm going to give away that, but I'll see what I can do. So now enjoy the rest of this video is just me playing the mini game in private servers and public servers with some of my fans. That's the end of this video so I hope this helped you guys and thank you guys all so much for watching and if you watched all the way to the end comment down below a strawberry emoji. Bye guys!